Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the two letters to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians, were written by the Apostle Paul. He wrote these letters to the Christian community in Corinth to address various issues and provide guidance on matters of faith and conduct. Paul's letters are an essential part of the New Testament and offer valuable insights into the teachings of Christ and how they can be applied in our lives today. Letter 1 to 1 Corinthians, building unity amidst diversity in the bustling city of Corinth, where diversity and dissent grappled for dominance, a beacon of hope emerged the Apostle Paul's timeless letter, 1 Corinthians. With fervent passion and grounded wisdom, Paul endeavors to mend the fractures that threatened the Corinthian church. In this epistle, he masterfully combines the art of persuasion and inspiration, forging a blueprint for harmonious faith. The letter to the Corinthians is a treasure trove of wisdom that tackles the challenges of unity amidst diversity. Paul's persuasive and inspirational approach invites readers to contemplate how they can embrace their differences and grow as one body in Christ. As the Corinthian church faced divisions and conflicts, Paul's writing serves as a guiding light, offering practical solutions and spiritual insights that transcend time and culture. 1 Corinthians Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and our brother Sosthenes, to the church of God in Corinth, to those sanctified in Christ Jesus and called to be his holy people, together with all those everywhere who call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. In the first letter to the Corinthians, the Apostle Paul addresses a vibrant and diverse Christian community facing various challenges. Through his words, we discover profound insights that inspire us to embrace love as the guiding force in our lives. Paul's teachings urge us to foster unity amidst diversity and to stand firm in our faith, trusting in God's strength to overcome temptations and adversities. Let us explore the wisdom found in these verses, drawing closer to the heart of Christ and his transformative love. 1 Corinthians is a letter written by the Apostle Paul to the Christian community in the city of Corinth. The letter addresses various issues and challenges the Corinthians were facing in their faith and conduct. Here are some key themes and explanations from the letter. A. Unity and Division One significant concern in the Corinthian church was the presence of divisions and quarrels among the believers. Paul emphasizes the importance of unity in Christ and urges them to set aside their divisions, reminding them that they are all members of one body, the body of Christ. B. Immorality and Holiness Paul addresses cases of sexual immorality and encourages the Corinthians to live holy lives, honoring God with their bodies. He reminds them that their bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit and should be treated with respect. C. Spiritual Gifts The letter discusses various spiritual gifts and their proper use within the church community. Paul emphasizes that these gifts should be used for the common good and not for self-glorification. Love is presented as the overarching motivation behind the use of spiritual gifts. D. Resurrection and Hope Paul addresses questions and doubts regarding the resurrection of the dead. He affirms the resurrection of Christ and emphasizes the hope that believers have in their own future resurrection and eternal life in Christ. E. The supremacy of love. One of the most famous passages in 1 Corinthians is chapter 13, often referred to as the love chapter. Paul beautifully describes the importance of love as the greatest virtue and how it should guide all aspects of Christian life and interactions. F. Christian liberty, Paul addresses the issue of food offered to idols, which was causing divisions within the Corinthian church. He advises that while believers have the freedom to eat such food, they should be considerate of others and avoid causing stumbling blocks for weaker believers. G. Marriage and singleness, Paul offers guidance on marriage and singleness, highlighting that both states can be used to serve and honor God. 
He encourages believers to consider their calling and remain faithful to their marital status while prioritizing their devotion to the Lord. H. The Lord's Supper. Paul provides instructions on the proper observance of the Lord's Supper, reminding the Corinthians of its significance as a symbol of Christ's sacrifice and the unity of believers. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. This famous passage describes the essence of true love in a Christian context. It goes beyond mere emotion and encompasses selflessness, compassion, and forgiveness. It urges believers to embody love in their relationships with others, reflecting the love of God and Christ in their actions and attitudes. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted... He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. This verse offers assurance that God is faithful and understanding of our struggles. It reminds believers that they are not alone in facing temptations and challenges. God provides the strength and a way out for those who seek to remain faithful to Him, helping them endure and overcome difficulties. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. This verse encourages perseverance and dedication in serving the Lord. Believers are urged to stand firm in their faith, unwavering in the face of adversity. It emphasizes the significance of laboring for God's kingdom knowing that every effort made for the Lord's sake holds eternal value and will not be in vain. Let us go forth with renewed hope, trusting in the Lord's promises and embracing the strength found in vulnerability. As we face the challenges of life, may we remember to lean not on our own understanding but submit every circumstance to God's faithful care. In the journey ahead, may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds. Hold fast to his word and walk courageously, for he is with you wherever you go. With hearts full of thanksgiving, let us embrace each day as an opportunity to share the message of Christ's love with those around us. May we shine as beacons of hope and compassion in a world longing for his transformative grace. As we part ways, remember that you are a cherished child of God, and he has a beautiful purpose for your life. May his love continue to inspire and guide you on this incredible journey of faith. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, gracious and loving God, we come before your presence with hearts humbled and spirits uplifted. We draw near to you, guided by the powerful words from your holy scriptures. As for me, I will always have hope, I will praise you more and more. Psalm 71 verse 14. Lord, in times of uncertainty and doubt, we fix our eyes upon you, for you are our unwavering hope. With each passing day, may our praise for you grow stronger, reflecting the depth of our gratitude for your steadfast love and boundless mercy. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Heavenly Father, we surrender our lives into your capable hands, knowing that you hold our destinies. We choose to trust you with unwavering faith, casting aside our limited understanding. As we submit every aspect of our being to your will, guide us along straight paths, leading us to the fulfillment of your purpose. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. 
Gracious God, we release our anxieties and worries into your care, knowing that you are attentive to our every need. With hearts full of thanksgiving, we present our requests before your throne. In exchange for our fears, grant us your peace that surpasses all human comprehension. May this divine peace stand as a fortress, guarding our hearts and minds through the unshakable presence of Christ Jesus. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 verse 9. Mighty God, you are our strength, and in your presence, courage blossoms within us. We release all fear and discouragement, for we know that you, O Lord, are with us wherever we go. With this assurance, we face the challenges of life, knowing that your steadfast love shall never depart from us. Dear Father, as we conclude this prayer, we hold fast to your promises and the power of your word. May your truth continually illuminate our paths and ignite the fire of faith within us. Strengthen us to walk boldly in your ways and to share the message of Christ's love with a world in need. In the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. As we conclude this prayer, we invite you to reflect on the profound truths we've explored together. We hope this message has touched you, stirring a desire to seek God more fervently and draw nearer to his heart. Now, as you step away from this moment of prayer, consider how to use these insights in your life today. In times of uncertainty, be strong and courageous, placing your trust in the Lord who is your ever-present help. Allow His peace to rule your heart and present your worries to Him through prayer and thanksgiving. When faced with adversity, remember that your weaknesses provide an opportunity for God's strength to be made perfect in you. Embrace vulnerability as a pathway to experience God's grace and be authentic in your relationships with others. Carry the torch of hope wherever you go, sharing the message of Christ's love through your actions and words. Be a vessel of compassion and understanding to those around you, for in doing so, you become an instrument of God's transforming love. As you walk this path of faith, remember that you are never alone. God walks beside you, guiding your steps and illuminating the way. In moments of doubt, rely on his word, for it is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. In closing, may you be blessed abundantly by the grace of our Lord. Hold fast to the lessons learned, and may they continue to shape and enrich your journey of faith. Let us go forth with hearts full of gratitude, seeking to live each day for his glory and to be a living testimony of his love to the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. As a community of believers, we understand the importance of supporting and lifting each other up through difficult times. We would like to extend an invitation to share your challenges and struggles in the comments section, not as a way to reveal your privacy, but as a way to share your testimony and potentially provide encouragement and guidance to others who may be going through the same thing. We are all here to help and support one another on this faith journey. Together, we can lift each other up and find strength in our shared experiences. We are so glad you joined us on our Prosperous Faith channel today. We hope that the video helped to deepen your understanding and strengthen your faith journey. We believe in the power of sharing our stories and lifting each other up. By subscribing to our channel, liking our videos, and leaving comments, you will become a part of our community and have access to a wealth of uplifting and powerful inspirational messages, morning prayers, and biblical insights. And by turning on the notification bell, you'll never miss a chance to grow in your faith with us. Thank you for being a part of our community, and may God bless you always.